uh, of scale, uh, Second Life is about 20,000 CPUs at this point. It's about 20,000 computers connected together in three facilities in the United States right now uh, that are simulating this virtual space. And the virtual space itself, there's about 250,000 people a day that are wandering around in there. So the, the kind of active population is something like a smallish city. The space itself is about 10 times the size of San Francisco, and it's about as densely built out. So it gives you an idea of scale. Now it's expanding very rapidly, about 5% a month or so right now in terms of new servers being added. And so, of course, radically unlike the real world and like the internet, the whole thing is expanding very, very quickly and historically exponentially. So that sort of space exploration thing is matched up here by the amount of content that's in there. And, and I think that amount is critical. It was critical with the virtual world that it be this space of truly infinite possibility. We're very sensitive to that as humans. You know, you know it when you see it. You know when you could do anything in a space and you know when you can't. Second Life today is this 20,000 machines and it's about 100 million or so user created objects where, you know, an object would be something like this, possibly interactive. Tens of millions of them are thinking all the time. They have code attached to them. So it's a really large world already in terms of the amount of stuff that's there and that's very important. If anybody plays like World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft is, is, comes on like four DVDs. Um, Second Life by comparison has about 100 terabytes of user created data making it about 25,000 times larger. So it, again, like the internet compared to uh, AOL uh, and the sort of chat rooms and content in AOL at the time, what's happening here is something very different because the sheer scale of what people can do when they're enabled to do anything they want is pretty amazing. The last big thought is that it is almost certainly true that whatever this is going to evolve into is going to be bigger in total usage than the web itself. 